Hi, I'm Tim Preby with TNS in Oklahoma City. In this video, we're going to insert a table in WordPress using the TablePress plugin. To add a table in WordPress, you can certainly manually enter in all the HTML. However, often it's easier to use a plugin like TablePress. If you're using TablePress, on the back end of the website, you can click on Add New Table to insert a new table. We're going to add a test table for this video. It's helpful to know the number of rows and columns that you'll have ahead of time. Remember that the headings on the table do count as a row. We'll go ahead and click on Add Table with these settings. Now that our table's been added, we can enter the different values. Since we've entered some values, let's skip all these settings for now and click on Save Changes. Now we can preview our table, but it doesn't look like it will in our theme. Let's leave this window open, but let's add a new page. We'll call this page Table Test. And to insert one of our tables, we'll go to the top toolbar, to this button that looks like a table. We've only got one table, so we'll click the Insert Shortcode button, and then click Preview. We can see that our table's been inserted, but there's an option to limit the number of entries and to search the table. While this may be useful for tables with a lot of rows, our table here doesn't have very many rows, so let's turn those options off. We'll go back to our Edit Table screen, scroll down to the bottom where it has features of the Data Tables JavaScript library, and let's just turn the whole thing off by unchecking this first box and clicking Save Changes. Now we'll look back at the page and refresh it, and we can see that while it still looks like our website, some of those features are gone now. If for some reason we did not want the first row of the table to be a header, we could uncheck this table head row, and we can do the same for a footer. Let's leave that checked for now. This table does have row hover highlighting turned on, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Of course, there are a lot of different options in here. Let's go ahead and insert a link for Leanne's email address. We'll highlight that. We see that it's in C4. We'll click on Insert Link. And it tells us, gives us directions to click on the cell we want to do this in. We talked in another video about how to insert a link to an email address, so we'll do that here. Then we insert the text that we want linked. We'll click on Add Link. 
And you can see that it added that to the text we already had in there. So we'll delete the text that was in there before. It may be easier for you to do that in a blank field or just delete what was in the field before. With Hollies, let's delete what's in there now and then we'll insert a link. We'll click there and insert her email address in the same way. This time we'll make the text just say email Holly. Let's do something completely different for my email address. We'll click on advanced editor and then the field we want to edit. We can see that it gives us a stripped down version of our visual editor. We can highlight things and bold them, and it updates the HTML for us. Let's go ahead and click on OK, and we'll scroll down and save all these changes. Again, remember, we can, at the top, preview the changes, although it will look unstyled. So it has a different, slightly different style than what we see on the front of the website. Let's go ahead and look on the front and refresh, and we can see all of our changes applied. Of course, there's a lot more features in TablePress. You can actually import tables that you've created in other programs such as Excel. That's useful for very large tables, or tables that you want to keep updated in an Excel file and then synchronize with your website. So we can actually go into import, upload a file, and we can add that as a new table, or we can replace an existing table, or we can even add the rows to a table that already exists. We can also export an existing table. CSV is a common format for tables that can be opened by spreadsheet programs like Excel and like Apple's Numbers program. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, you might consider signing up for our email newsletter at tnsgo.com newsletter. If you need any help with your online marketing, contact us to see if we might be a good fit. You can reach us at 405-285-0348.